Alright, what's going on you guys? Brian here, and this is my quick recap and uh, thoughts on tonight's WWE Stomping Ground event. Uh, so let's get right into it. Um, on the kickoff show, we saw a triple threat match for the Cruiserweight Championship that saw Drew Gulak become the new Cruiserweight Champion. He defeated Akira Tozawa to win the championship in, the mat in, in that match also involving then champion Tony Nese. So a big congratulations to Drew Gulak on becoming the new Cruiserweight Champion. Um, and in a match that I thought was actually really good. Uh, I actually thought this matchup was really good. I thought all three guys did an amazing job. Um, I thought it was a really good match. Uh, say what you want about the Cruiserweights. Um, I do think they do somewhat of a decent job. Um, so, but a big congratulations to Drew Gulak for winning the Cruiserweight title. Then we move on to the main show itself, where we saw Becky Lynch uh, successfully defend her Raw Women's title against Lacey Evans. This one, um, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was that good. I thought Lacey did a really good job in this matchup. Um, but in the end, it was Becky Lynch locking in the disarmor to retain her championship. And this would not be the last time that we would see these two tonight. And I'll get into that further in the, when I get to the main event. Um, we then had um, a tag team match involving... Um, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn taking on Xavier Woods and Big E. Um, this one was okay. Uh, Sami and Kevin, they took out Big E in early on in the match to try to uh, pick up a quick victory. But in the end, it was Owens and Zayn picking up the W as Kevin Owens caught Xavier Woods with a stunner. And that is what... Uh, that is what got the victory for Owens and Zayn tonight at Stomping Ground. Or at Stomping Ground, or whatever they're calling it. Um, we had the U.S. title being decided. Uh, Ricochet taking on Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe defend was the defending champion. Uh, this was okay as well. This was a really good match, I thought, in my opinion. Uh, Ricochet picking up the victory with a code breaker followed by the 630. This is Ricochet's first championship win since coming to the WWE um, as far as the main roster. Whether, you know, regardless, I mean, I know he won the, uh, North, um, the NXT North American title when he was in NXT, but uh, th since Coming to the main roster, this is his first championship, major championship on the main roster, as he is the new United States champion, defeating Samoa Joe. And what I thought was an okay matchup as well. Um, a lot of these matches were okay. Some of them, I, 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 there was maybe two, two of them that I really liked. Um, the other ones were somewhat decent or okay, not all what was packed up to be. Um, let's see what we have here. We had Daniel Bryan and Rowan uh, successfully defending their SmackDown Tag Team Championships against Heavy Machinery. Uh, Daniel Bryan picked up the win for his team in what was an okay match. Uh, nothing really special. Um, we had Bailey. Uh, we had Bailey successfully defending the SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, over Alexa Bliss. Uh, this one, there's something is going to come out of it because um, Nikki Cross, who was in Alexa Bliss's corner, she ran into the ring and the referee sent her away. That distracted Alexa and that allowed Bailey to hit the uh, ba Bailey the belly on Alexa and that is what helped Bailey pick, uh, retain her women's title. So it'll be interesting to see what the fallout between 
Alexa and Nikki is coming up tomorrow night on Raw. Um, let's see what else we had. In, what I, in a match that I thought was actually really good, uh, Roman Reigns took on Drew McIntyre. This one I thought was really good, um, given the history between these two. I personally, I thought McIntyre was going to win, but that was not the case, as even though he had Shane McMahon in his corner, and Shane got involved near the end of the match and, you know, tried to get involved throughout the matchup, um, that was not enough to stop Roman Reigns, as he would hit a spear on McIntyre and defeat uh, Drew McIntyre to win at stopping ground. Then, in a backstage segment, Shane McMahon announced a two-on-one handicap match that will happen tomorrow night on Raw, where it will be Roman Reigns versus both Drew McIntyre and Shane McMahon, obviously continuing this feud again. I honestly, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know when this feud is going to end. I hope it ends really soon, because I really do not want to see Shane McMahon on, on TV in a feud with anybody. Um, we had the steel cage match for the WWE Championship. Kofi Kingston versus, uh, defending against Dolph Ziggler. This one had a really uh, surprising, not surprising, but a, a really innovative victory um, ending. And, you know, Ziggler did everything he could to try to beat Kofi. He would use a submission. He would try to, you know, he would use uh, the zigzag. He would prevent, try to prevent Kofi from uh, getting out of the cage. But um, in the end, Ziggler would try to make his way through the door, and Kofi ran and dove through, I believe it was the middle rope, to over Dolph Ziggler and came down on the arena floor, both feet touching the floor. Uh, you guys did not see it. I would recommend checking it out because it was very innovative for Kofi Kingston to once again retain the WWE Championship. He dove over Dolph Ziggler through the door, through the, through the ropes, through, uh, over Dolph Ziggler, and through the door, and both feet touched the arena floor, and Kofi Kingston is still the WWE Champion. In what I thought was a really exciting matchup, in a very innovative way for Kofi to come up with to uh, win that one. And then that brings us to the Universal Championship uh, main event, Baron Corbin challenging Seth Rollins. And Baron Corbin was able to name the special guest referee. He would wind up choosing none other than the sassy Southern Belle, Lacey Evans, to be the referee. And this was because Seth Rollins had beat up everybody else, and he, he, would, ne he would not dare hit a, a woman with a steel chair. So, as always, whenever there's a heel referee, the heel, the, re the heel referee sticks up with the heel in the match. Uh, she would quick count any time Baron Corbin would go for a pin, or she would, and she would slow count every time Seth would go for the win. Um, she would almost wind up uh, helping Baron Corbin win the Universal Title near the end of the match. Um, she refused to count for Seth Rollins when Seth went for the uh, pinfall on uh, Baron after hitting the Falcon Arrow on a chair. She that she kept turning in, tr kept she kept turning the match and she turned the match into a no, a no count out, then no disqualification. Anything goes, and when Seth hit the Falcon Arrow on Baron Corbin on a chair, Lacey. Refused to count the, the three. Seth would get into her, would get in her face. She would slap him a couple of times. Then, when he was distracted, she would hit a low blow. This would bring out Seth's, 
Seth Rollins' girlfriend, Becky Lynch, who is the current Raw Women's Champion. She would come out, she would go after Lacey, referees would come down to break it up, and who, Baron would call one of the referees into the ring, and who would be the official coming into the ring? None other than, I believe it was um, John Cone, uh, who, what, who Baron Corbin blamed for costing him at Super Showdown, and he would wind up counting the fall for Seth Rollins after Seth hit Baron with the stomp, one, two, three, and Seth Rollins is still the WWE Universal Champion, retaining over Baron Corbin, uh, and it will be interesting to see what happens as far as the fallout from that whole situation, how Baron Corbin responds to losing, for the second time, uh, a shot at the Universal Championship. Um, we'll have to wait and see tomorrow night on Raw. But that one I really didn't care for very much, that Universal title match. Um, I think the three that I mainly, I thought were, were really solid matches were the Cruiserweight title match, the Reigns back entire matchup, and the Ziggler and Kofi Kingston matchup, especially the innovative way that Kofi came up with to win that one inside a steel cage. Um, so, but overall the show I thought was okay. Um, I thought those three matches, for me, personally, I thought they were really good. So, um, but overall I thought it was okay show. I didn't think it was great. I didn't think it was bad. Um, but a lot of things continued, a lot of feuds continued coming out of tonight. So it'll be interesting to see what happens this week um, on WWE programming. So uh, leading up to the next event, which is Extreme Rules in July, on July 14th. So with that being said, uh, this has been my rundown and my recap of what happened tonight at WWE Stomping Ground. Um, if you guys watched the show tonight, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Uh, what were your favorite parts about it? Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.